for that in interruption it was a weak Wi-Fi signal so anyway uh, to continue we have different uh, intensities of physical activity and intense exercise is the most intense that we can do of course on the other hand sleeping is the most restful activity that we can do anything in between is physical activity although sedentary behavior despite the fact that it's still waking activity uh, it uses more calories than sleeping yet it is still sedentary and we need to get up from our chairs get up from our bed so that sedentary behavior is uh, uh, changed into light activity or even moderate physical activity now look physical activity is uh, physical activity has a very very significant gain and that is the reduction of the risk of premature death no? the more exercise you do the better in terms of risk of premature death it lessens the risk for premature death and in fact the blue line shows to you how uh, how much exercise becomes significant in terms of uh, uh, dosage it is called the dose response relationship of exercise and in fact the next this infograph infographic gives you a more detailed uh, in, uh, uh, relationship between reduction in mortality and exercise and uh, the 31 percent aspect that you can see is actually what is the significant the significant part of uh, those response relationship with respect to exercise okay now look at this this there is a compelling link between physical activity and the body's defense system that is very relevant nowadays why because we need to be able to boost our uh, immune system we cannot boost our immune system merely by doing uh, supplements, nutritional supplements, or even uh, uh, nutrition. We have to also look at physical activity as a boost for our defense system. That's the reason why the Department of Health issued the Administrative Order Number 2020-0015, and it. Uh, specifically states at the bottom you will see encourage appropriate physical activity for those with access to open spaces as long as physical distancing is practiced now who ha who has this uh, luxury if you live in a densely populated area this becomes an impossibility especially since look look at uh, the first the, the red uh, letters on top non-pharmaceutical intervention physical activity is a non-pharmaceutical intervention and therefore it's also as important for us to have that in our daily uh, combat against COVID-19 now it is not only physiological the physiological and the, and the uh, biological aspects of our body that enjoy benefits uh, from physical exercise or physical activity even our cognitive functioning our feeling of being well benefit from uh, physical activity look at this brain volume in, improves white matter integrity in, improves the neutrophin levels are uh, made to be ideal nerve growth factors uh, uh, about whenever we do physical activity and this correlates well with cognitive performance defining functional neural efficiency. Importante dito, we also have our uh, cognitive functioning. We have to take care of our cognitive functioning. At hindi lang yun. Importante rin yung executive decisions natin. Yung ating the choosing between alternatives. We have to have sound uh, decision making. And exercise sharpens that as well. So, there are several evidences regarding physical exercise and the 
brain matter. No? It's a strong gene modulator. It induces structural and functional changes in the brain, determines enormous benefit on both cognitive functioning and well-being, and it is also a protective factor for neurodegeneration. So exercise really is important for everyone. Okay, now, physical activity also uh, improves our emotional and mental health. Among some of those that you can cite with respect to ex exercise or physical activity, uh, doing good things for our emotional or mental health, first step towards lifestyle is change, changes. Alam niyo, when you exercise, it moves you to do changes in your lifestyle such as you start eating well, you start uh, sleeping uh, more or sleeping am amply, you start also shunning uh, habits that are destructive such as smoking, maybe even drug abuse. All of this start with exercise. Exercise is also associated with reduced anxiety uh, and this was proven in clinical settings. Okay? And uh, actually, it is a, a good mood enhancer. No? Uh, five minutes of exercise. As soon as five minutes of exercise, uh, uh, as soon as within five minutes of exercise, your mood lifts, okay? And this is not only limited to immediately after exercise or during exercise. Summation, yung, if you do exercise several times more regularly, then your mood, overall mood is enhanced. Exercise is also generally comparable to antidepressants for patients with major depressive disorder. And this means that you don't you get to shun some of the medications that may be uh, given to you that are in the category of antidepressant uh, medicines. Now, if you look at the health and fitness benefits of physical activity, you will see strong evidence to moderate evidence. There are so many, among which are lower risk of early death, lower risk of type two diabetes. Uh, especially nowadays in the Philippines, you can see that the incidence of pre-diabetes and diabetes, full-blown diabetes, it has uh, increased. Why? Because of our life, poor lifestyles. Now, lower risk of stroke, prevention of weight gain, weight loss, improved cardiorespiratory and muscular fitness, which leads to improved functionality. Now, even the moderate evidence, if you look at them, you will be encouraged to start physical activity and exercise. Lower risk of hip fracture, lower risk of lung cancer, lower risk of endometrial cancer, increased bone density. Uh, people who are 60 years old and above, uh, a lot of them uh, or several of them are in danger of meeting accidents or falls, accidental falls merely because their muscles have deteriorated, their bones have become uh, more porous than they should be, and so they, they experience uh, devastating musculoskeletal uh, injuries, and exercise can prevent these accidental falls. And, you know, that is the reason why if you look at all of this, you will really conclude that exercise truly is medicine now why what happens if we shun exercise or physical activity do you know that sitting is the new smoking we know that smoking is deleterious to our health it can bring about so many problems among the more morbid problems are uh, cancers all sorts of cancers particularly more specifically, lung cancer, throat cancer, mouth cancer, and so on and so forth. But it also leads to other comorbidities. But look, this is the reason why that happens, that risk increases, is because, look, electrical activity in the leg muscles shuts off as soon as you sit. And calorie burning drops to one 
calorie per kilogram of weight per minute. And this leads to overweightness and obesity. Of course, we know that nutrition, over, overeating, will also lead to that. And in fact, you cannot over, you cannot out-exercise what you eat. Nonetheless, if you sit, the more you sit, the more that you make it more uh, risky for you for to, con to contract or even uh, suffer from several of these uh, morbid health problems. Now, even good cholesterol, which is your HDL, drops 20% two hours after you start sitting. So, we need to really uh, limit or lessen our uh, sitting. That's why in the Filipino Pyramid Activity Guide, you can see at the bottom, there is that day-to-day -day activity. We need to do physical activities during our day-to-day -day activities. Now, the problem is this. Nowadays, because of the ECQ, and even if there is uh, the modified ECQ, we will have problems because we cannot go out. We cannot go uh, walking, jogging, biking, that's a problem because it's against the law. And this is the reason why short incidental physical activity will be very, very helpful. Now, when we